In this video, I want to give a quick demonstration of a DMARC dashboard that I've assembled with Elasticsearch, Kibana, and Docker. And in a few days, I will release a second video that gives a thorough explanation of each line of code that was used to make this dashboard. That way, you can reverse engineer this project for different use cases. For example, you can use this code as a boiler template to set up a marketing analytics tool. Or maybe you can use this code to set up a tool to analyze revenue and sales. But for now, let's just do a quick demonstration of how to get this project up and running for analyzing DMARC aggregation reports. And all this code is available in this GitHub repository here, which I'll link to in my video description. Now for setting things up, I'll just follow these steps here. Start up the Elk stack and then ingest data into the Elk stack. To get this project to work, you're gonna need a Linux machine. This might actually work on a Windows machine. I just haven't tested on Windows yet. But on this Linux machine, I'm running Ubuntu 22.04, and the IP address for this machine is this one right here. Uh, I've also got this to work on Red Hat, so it should be fine. Now on this machine, it's a completely new installation of Ubuntu, so I'm just gonna quickly update a few things. So I'm just gonna let this thing run until it's finished. All right, it looks like Ubuntu is up to date. So now I'm just gonna install a few packages that I need. I'll need Vim, I'll need curl. Uh, I often like to use NewPG, GPG. Uh, we're gonna need Docker and Docker Compose. So I'll pause until this is done. Okay, all the packages we need are installed. So let's actually set up our DMARC tool. So I'm gonna make a new project directory here. It can be anything you want. And in this folder, I'm going to actually grab this repository. And let's check out the project. We'll just go to the main or master branch. And you're going to see all the code here. First thing we're gonna do is just make a copy of the environment file. So we need to set up the Elk stack and we're gonna do this. And we can leave these settings here the way they are. You can always change them for improved security. But to get things up and running, we'll just leave it as is. And let's start up the Docker project. All right, so I'll pause until this is up and running. All right, it looks like things might be up and running, so let me just take a look. Okay, this might, my monitor's too small, so let me try this command instead. Okay, good, looks like these things are up and running. So let's take a look at the IP address of this machine, 51164020, and I have this window opened here. So this is using self-signed certificate, so let's click advance and we'll click accept risk and continue. Let's just log in to make sure that the whole platform is actually up and running. And the username is elastic. For the password, I'll have to look in my environment file. It's the change me. Okay, great. Looks like the elk stack is up and running. Now let's load this with some of our data from our DMARC aggregation reports. So I'm gonna close this, and we're going to go to the parser directory, make a copy of our environment sample file to here. And again, we can just leave these settings the way they are. These host names are referencing the Docker service names. And I have some sample aggregation DMARC reports here that we can use. All right, so we're gonna use these as an example. So I'll just copy this over to our zipped directory. And now we can just do docker exec hyphen it dmark uh, parser underscore one. And by the way, this is the container name. All right, and I'll pause until all this stuff is ingested into the Elk stack. 
or actually it's pretty fast if it's just a few records. All right, so it looks like it's there. And in case you're not sure what that start.sh was, that's this uh, script here, which I'll explain in the deep dive video. So now with that done, you should be able to go to dashboards and we have a DMARC dashboard here. And I believe the sample data I provided was from January 1st of 2024. So we'll have to look a little bit further back, let's say last 15 days. And there we go. And you can understand what each of these visualizations do by clicking on edit and hit edit visualization, edit lens. And you can see that the query that's being done here is that it's just looking at the auth result, uh, SPF result for this one and to sum on the row count. So you can inspect any visualization just by clicking on this link here. Now I'll do a deep dive video that explains the code behind all this very soon.